Okay, class, this is Victor Campos, and I'm continuing HTML5. Here's what our uh, project looks like. We've got uh, some CSS3 rounded edges here, and that was done simply with by adding border radius. I want to add a nice drop shadow to my picture, and in the old days, I would need to bring this picture into an image editing software like Photoshop and add a drop shadow, and that would work. But then if things change, different picture and such, we'd have to bring it back into Photoshop, make the change again, export, bring it back to our document, and a whole uh, process. So nowadays, what we can do is add some CSS3. And I'll do that by going back to my code, line 13. And in addition to the style I currently have, now I'll add this CSS3 code that goes box dash shadow colon and here I have to define several parameters of how I want my shadow to look. Uh, I need to set its X offset 10 pixels, its Y offset 10 pixels, its blur I'll do 5 pixels also, and then the color of the shadow we'll do black semicolon. Now what does that even mean? It's better to see it. So I've got 10, 10, 5, black. Our result is we've got this drop shadow that extends 10 pixels to the right, 10 pixels down, 5 pixels of blur, and the color black. It's a bit too much. So I can go back and change my offsets to 3x, so 3 move to the right. We'll do 5 move down. 5 blur and still black. Let's see the difference. See how it moves over to the right less and then down at the bottom. So that's adding a drop shadow via CSS3.